South of the English mainland lies Brouncey Island, one of the last safe havens for the endangered red squirrel population. The island is closed to visitors over the winter. It is breeding season for the squirrels and head ranger John, who's been working on the island for over 30 years, informed us it was the best time to spot them. Uh, I didn't know much about red squirrels until I came here because obviously there aren't many places where you can still see them. In fact, I'd never seen a red squirrel before I came here. Brownsea's unique environment provides an ideal home for the 200 red squirrels estimated to be on the island. Contained within the island, there's at least a dozen different habitat types. We've got, obviously, woodlands. We've got a, a lagoon. We've got uh, a couple of freshwater lakes. This area of the island is dominated by Scots pine trees, probably the most abundant tree on the island, which is good news for the squirrels because it's the seeds contained within the Scots pine cones that the squirrels eat for most of the year. Did you get him? Just keep quiet, otherwise I might scare him off. But that's typical of what they're doing at the moment. They're foraging for the food that they buried back in the autumn. 150 years ago, red squirrels were a common sight in British woodlands. But the introduction of grey squirrels in the 1870s decimated the native population. They carry a disease. It's called squirrel pox virus. It's not harmful to the grey squirrels, but if grey squirrels do come into contact with reds, they act as carriers and they can pass this, this disease onto the red squirrels and it's fatal. Conservation work on Brouncey Island and other areas is helping to maintain the red squirrel population. It's got to a stage perhaps where they might have hit rock bottom and in some areas they are starting to make a bit of a comeback, but it's only because people are making determined efforts. Brouncey's unique position means that for now, the red squirrels are safe. We don't have grey squirrels. That little bit of water that separates uh, Brownsea from the mainland acts as a, an adequate barrier. So no grey squirrels, no disease, no competition. Thanks to the hard-working rangers and volunteers, the squirrels now have a safe environment where they can thrive. <laughs>